Good morning, YouTube. It's been quite a while since I did an update. My flat punch is all the way healed and doing great. It is two weeks from six months for that. And I have also gotten a new conch punch as of a week ago. I also had to upsize my dates rings as the eight millimeter ones were causing an irritation bump, which is also known as hypertrophic scarring. So it's a little, you'll see in the pictures, but my dates ring kind of goes over top of my conch punch right now. And frankly, that's okay. Now, everybody likes to hear the experiences on these things. So having gone for my flat punch prior, I knew what to expect and I don't know what the general consensus is, but for my body, the dermal punch is a lot less painful than the needle. I don't know if it's because it's faster, if it's because it's sharper, not quite sure. But getting the jewelry inserted because you have to stretch up one size to stop the bleeding, that part does, it hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Just took some Advil when I got home to ease the swelling and we were good to go. So I have a clip of me showing the part of my conch that was removed and I'll insert that. Otherwise, short and sweet. Have a great day. You might hear my dogs walking around in the background. I'm going to show you what was punched out of my ear. So I've got it in this little baggie here. I'm gonna get my tweezers just so you can see around easier. So this black bit here is what he colored in to mark where he was going to stamp. And then if you look right here, sorry, I'll try that again. This white bit here is the actual cartilage. And if you look, see if I can grab it again. It's a little slippery. Anyway, you can see the cartilage itself isn't actually that thick, which always fascinates me because when I'm squishing my ear, it does feel pretty thick. Now what is thick is the connective tissue towards the back. So that is where the majority of the length of the wearable surface would go. And you can see the thickness there's probably about a millimeter. And then the other part's about three to four millimeters. And from the front of the ear to the cartilage, maybe about two. The other interesting thing for me is just how thin the skin itself is versus the connective tissue. So I found that really interesting. I hope you guys did as well.